If you have followed me on Google+, Twitter and YouTube and so on, you have probably seen that I have tried all the third-party keyboards for iOS. And I always try the third-party keyboards for a very long time because I think you need to do that to see how powerful it is and let the keyboard learn your habits and how you type and so on. And I can say that Flexi is the best third-party keyboard for iOS by far. It's so stable, it never crashes, it has no bugs at all. And Flexi is actually the first third-party keyboard that makes it worth using instead of Apple's own keyboard. That's how effective and good it is. And one of the best things with using Flexi is that you use it exactly as you use the Apple keyboard. So you are already used to how to use Flexi, so you don't need to learn so much new stuff by using Flexi. You just type the letters as you usually do as fast as possible and let Flexi work for you and use the outer corrections totally automatically. And the outer corrections is awesome with Flexi. No other keyboard beats Flexi when it comes to autocorrection. And when you have learned to type that way, then you can go to the next level with using Flexi. And that is to learn the gestures that Flexi support. So for example, when you have typed a word and Flexi autocorrects it to a word that Flexi thinks you want to type, then you can just swipe down to select another word from a list of words. So if you swipe down again, you go to the next word and so on. And another gesture you can do is to swipe left to delete the complete word, the last word you type. So if you want to delete a word really fast, that's the way to do it. And the reason why Flexi has so good autocorrection is that Flexi knows which letter you want to type, even if you miss that letter on the keyboard. So you can click on a letter at the side of the letter you wanted and Flexi knows, it guesses which letter you wanted to type. So you should just Keep continue typing and let Flexi work and auto correct the words for you. And by doing so, you can type incredibly fast. You can even type without watching the keyboard while typing. So basically, you can be blind and use Flexi and type the words. But you have to let Flexi know how you type so Flexi can learn what words you use the most and how you type and so on. So you have to use Flexi for at least one week, I think even two weeks before Flexi gets as powerful as Flexi really is. And a feature I really like with Flexi is that you can use a personal dictionary. So you can learn Flexi words that Flexi don't know. So for example, you can learn Flexi your own domain address, your email address, your telephone number and so on by just swiping up on a word you have typed. So when swiping up, Flexi learns that word and adds it to your personal dictionary. And another great feature is that Flexi supports extensions. So you can buy and install extensions directly from the settings, the app settings. And for example, then you can add a top bar with the numbers. So you have the numbers you need always visible on the keyboard and you can buy an extension that have uh, shortcuts to stuff you type often so you can have a button for for example your domain address or email address so you can add different buttons at the top bar so you can just click on that and the text gets typed automatically for you and another cool extension is that you can have an extension added to flexi that when you click on that you can move the keyboard to the left side for left-handed use and to the right side for right-handed use so you can use flexi with just one hand for example, that's great for iPhone 6 Plus users, for example, so you can still use the iPhone and typing with just one hand instead of two. And you can also switch on extra buttons to the left and right side of the keyboard when you hold it in landscape mode, for example. That's pretty nifty, so you always have some useful keys to the left and right of the keyboard. So you don't have to switch to another layout. You can also choose to have another feature on the globe button. You know the globe button that you usually use to switch to another keyboard and so on. 
you can choose to have another feature on that button. So for example, I have the auto correction on off on that glow button instead because I need to turn off auto correction sometimes. For example, when in Google Plus and have to mention a person, you start that word with an at symbol and then the name and then Flexi usually corrects the name because Flexi thinks that name is wrong. So if I turn off the autocorrection feature then it works but not when it's on. And of course Flexi has a lot of different themes that you can choose from and you can also buy new themes from the settings in the app and so on. So you can really customize Flexi exactly how you want it. You probably know by now that I love Flexi. I think Flexi is really, really great. It's my default keyboard now. I've uninstalled Apple's keyboard and I only have Flexi for typing now and some other useful keyboards like clips and emoji keyboard and text expander keyboard too. So I can highly recommend trying Flexi out. It's very stable. It's the only keyboard that is so stable and never crashes on iOS and it works great on both the iPhone and iPad. But please give it a quite long time before you decide if you want to use it or not because it has to learn how you type and all the words you use very often and so on. Okay, so that was my thoughts about Flexi, the third party keyboard for iOS the best keyboard for iOS, the only keyboard that can actually replace Apple's own keyboard. Okay, bye!